So the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is HTML attributes. So a lot of HTML tags have these things called attributes that lets you define some more specific things about the tag itself. So usually it follows the pattern of having an attribute name followed by an equal sign and then the value that you want to add in quotes. So a really simple example I'm going to go ahead and show you is one with the image tag. So we remember how tags work. This is an item. These are both these are all tags and what we we're going to do is we're going to add a source for an image. So what that means is we're telling the browser you can find the image that I want to display at this location. So here we're going to write the attribute name. Then the equal sign and then quotes, and then the value that we want to give it. And there we go. Now we're showing Benji the dog. OK, so let's say instead we want to maybe add a paragraph with some text. And we want to give it some inline styling. So inline styling is when you add styling characteristics to a tag without using CSS, which is something we'll learn about later. So what we can do is add the style attribute equals, and we can go color. Uh, yellow. And now the text color is yellow, which is very hard to see. Let's go ahead and change that to blue. There you go. Now you can see how to use an attribute to help us see things a little bit differently and define more specific characteristics of a tag. With that example, you can go ahead and move forward and learn about CSS.